Hey everyone, it's Dominic from the Primetime Treasure eBay store and YouTube channel. I want to thank you for coming back to check out another video. This little box that you see here is actually the source of this video. Inside this box is another little box that contains what's known as solder. Uh, if you don't know what solder is, solder is a thin type of metal that wraps around a a cylindrical base and it's used by welders to uh, fuse different types of metals together. It's easily meltable and it, there's particular brands that are highly sought after if they're vintage. This is a vintage type and the company that makes it is called Kester. So it's Kester Solder. I found it for 25 cents at an uh, estate sale in the basement by a tool area and sold it uh, tonight for $30. So this is going out in the mail and it's going out first class shipping because the total weight of this is 10 ounces. Now you want to try to keep your uh, total weight at 16 ounces or less if you are shipping uh, and printing your shipping labels online through eBay because first class will go up to 16 ounces that way. So again, this one is 10 ounces. Now, one of the reasons it's 10 ounces is because I was able to fit it in this little box. But if I tried to ship it in a bigger box, that would add more weight. I'd have to put packing material in to protect it and could easily, quickly go over 16 ounces, which is gonna increase the cost and then decrease your profit. So you obviously don't wanna do that if you could get it out uh, for a cheaper price and still uh, make sure that it's nice and protected. And this is a nice strong box and it's very well protected in here. So. Uh, the issue that happens sometimes is when you try to use these smaller boxes, if you go to print out the shipping label, the standard sh size shipping label will often come out too big. And this is an example of what I'm showing you right here. This is a, a, you know, a bigger shipping label right here. I'm not going to show any addresses or anything like that. Now, if you see here, it's just a bit too big for the box. Now, I could technically fold it over like this, but I don't like doing that because I like to have the things here able to cleanly scan when they're going through the system. So I don't want to do that. Um, so what you can do is if you have it open, and the reason why I just don't have, I'm um, not doing a screenshot of this because I don't want to take the chance of any ad, any people's addresses uh, showing up. So, but if you have your um, screen open uh, where you would print your label, just go to where it says print label and then hit properties, or it might show up as preferences, but typically it shows up as properties, and then go to where it says page setup, uh, and then underneath that, towards like the middle, you're gonna see where it says page layout, and you're gonna see different options. Now it's gonna probably have normal size set as the default, and there's other options. What you wanna do is go to where it says scaled, and then right underneath it, you're gonna see some arrows where it says scaling, and just lower it down from 100 to about 80%, depending on how much lower you want it to get. Now, you can't make it super, super tiny because then it, it won't be able to be read by the machines, but as long as you drop it down to you know anywhere between 80, 90%, you probably go a little bit even lower than that. You just have to experiment with it. But then you will have a label that's printed out that is the size that you need. So you could see here at 80%, this is now a smaller label and it's going to fit just fine on this box. You see, just like that. There we go. It fits on there just fine, no problem. Let me just show it a little bit better right there. Okay, so you see, fits there. Nothing's overlapping the edge or anything like that. So it'll easily go right on there. Now you could also make the label larger. I don't know why you really need to do that, but you could do it. But as you can see here, again, I'm not going to show any addresses, but this is just going to neatly go right on here, right onto the box. It's going to be very simple. Just tape it right down and you're fine. Don't worry about there, about there being a wraparound in this direction. That's okay. Uh, as long as you have the barcode showing cleanly on one side of the box, that's all you need. So that is going to be perfectly okay for it to go to wherever it needs to go. The whole label does not actually have to be on one side. As long as that barcode is clearly and nearly and neatly fitting on one side, you're all set. So I hope this little tip helped you out if you were trying to figure out how to do that, especially if you're new into reselling. That could be something that's annoying, that could be taking up a lot of time. So if you did a quick search on YouTube or something, maybe this video popped up and it helped you. 
If it did, make sure you hit the like button. Check out some of my other videos that are designed to help you in all different aspects of reselling. And also, if you want additional help with reselling and great tips and stuff like that, make sure you hit the description section down below and join my Facebook group, the Facebook Reselling Resource Center. Just hit a join request and if everything looks okay with your profile, we'll let you right in. I think you'll like the group. A lot of other people do and have stuck around and really enjoy it. So make sure you come by, check it out, and also, Try to hit that subscribe button for me. Hit the little treasure chest that pops up. Trying to get up to 100 subscribers. Just got up to 89 tonight, so just 11 more away. Help me get there. Thank you very much. Hope this video helped. See you at the next one. Bye-bye.